Hello everybody. I am Raghavesh. In this video session, I am going to discuss about UART communications. The UART stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver and Transmitter. It's a kind of a communication which is basically transferring the data in terms of serial. First, let us look at what is serial and parallel communication. You can see we have a microcontroller and we have a peripheral. If you would like to transfer a data in terms of a byte, generally it is meant for like 8 bits, then we use a parallel communication. Mostly they use it for one way and also it is used for two way purpose also. And you can see here if it is a one way, the data line is only one way. And if I am going to have it as a two way or here as a two way. Of course this is considered as a simple whereas the number of you know IO lines is going to be more if you are looking for a parallel communication. In case of serial communication you can see here we have a microcontroller and a peripheral and data is traveling through only one line and you can see there is a clock this is considered to be some cases as optional that means if you are going to use a clock is a kind of synchronous if there is no clock that is called asynchronous as you can see here so whenever we try to communicate the data from microcontroller to peripheral the data travels in a bit by bit you can see this is the data whereas it has traveled as a bit by bit the microcontroller will convert the parallel data into serial and transfer over the channel and the peripheral it can be even some cases computer that will receive the data in serial and make it as a parallel that means for the user the data will be available just have a look at the objectives of this LAN we are going to develop a serial link between the PC and MSP430 device and we are going to program this serial communication interface in a polled mode and also we are going to transfer a constant string from the kit to the PC and also I am going to show you how to you know provide the interrupt handler for a serial communication as you can see here this is MSP430 kit and it can be any device as I told it could be a peripheral or it can be a you know computer or even it can be another MSP430 kit. In this experiment I am going to demonstrate how to transfer the data from the MSP kit to the PC. Once you install the MSP430 kit into a computer if you go to the device manager this is the device manager which is available in our PC you will identify the two UART ports which is connected in a COM port. Uh, this I am using in a Windows XP. It is common for uh, even Windows 7 or Windows 8 PCs. You may note down this UART port number which will be used in the end of the session to test the results. You may answer these lab questions. This is how the serial data get transferred. Generally, the serial data line is going to be in ideal case as a high. If the data transfer starts from high to low transition will take place and then followed by the LSB and 7 or 8 data bits. As you can see here, these are all referred as ASCII characters. And then these two are, this, this is a, you know, parity bit is an optional bit. If you want you can include or we can exclude this. In this example we are going to exclude this parity bit and the stop bit. So in a serial transfer every data will have a start and then stop bit. This two is a compulsory as you can see here this shaded color are compulsory and this is optional. These data are optional. If your data is having 8 bits even we need to include bit 7 as well. There are some useful documentation listed here. 
some of them we have used in a previous lab experiments and you must access this document for many purpose especially to understand the block diagram of uart and also to get the um, you know the baud rate calculations for many purpose we have to refer to this document just let me show the block diagram first so this is the document and you can see it's referred as a universal serial communication interface we have two modules here like a0 and a1 and we are going to work with uart mode and these are the features of uart mode you may go through these features as well this is a block diagram of the uart mode you can see there is a transmitter and receiver pin which gets the data from the shift register as i told the parallel data will be shifted serially and also the serial data will be converted into parallel so this is what the simple function of serial communication and you can see for this purpose we need a clock so we are getting four different clocks this is actually 32768 hertz clock and these two other system clock which is nothing but 4 mhz but we are going to use only a clock for this experiment there are many other registers are there which you may need to spend some time to read and get to know about the registers 